<laughs> Let me clean this up. <laughs> oh, hello everyone. <laughs> so, um, just recently, maybe three, two weeks ago, I made a, a video, um, and it was um, in the moment of creation, that's what it was called. And it was a flashback uh, back to two years ago, uh, before I started school. But essentially, um, I was making a video right before I started school, um, and I was going uh, for early childhood education at Conestoga College. Um, and so I actually finished, I graduated, um, and I, you know, I loved it, every moment of it. I don't take it for granted. I learned so many things about children, their development, um, how uh, we as educators can play a big role in, um, in their lives and essentially uh, impact society in a huge, huge way. Um, Actually, this, uh, this job, this field, uh, early childhood educator, is often uh, seen as a, a babysitter job. Um, so it's undervalued, um, that's what I'm trying to say. And um, anyway, so yeah, I graduated um, and I started actually working in the field uh, right away. And I am so, so grateful. I want to tell you guys how, um, how grateful I am to have this job. And I think I might have mentioned it in maybe another video prior to this. Um, but yeah, so this is where I am now uh, in my uh, working, uh, contributing towards society uh, part of my life. Um, and of course, um, my inner work has also been uh, continuously uh, developing um, because life is always changing. Um, spiritually wise, um, I've, I feel like I've grown. Um, I've, I feel like, you know, through the uh, Bhagavad Gita. <laughs> Bhagavad Gita has taught me a lot of things um, and I really, you know, I highly recommend anyone to read the book with an open mind. Uh, you don't necessarily have to get into the, uh, the whole as aspect of, uh, you know, God and all that stuff. Um, just, it just teaches you a lot of like practical things, things that you can actually apply in life. Um, just to be calmer, to understand life in a better perspective. Um, and so yeah, I've gotten that perspective uh, from that book. Um, and uh, yeah, it's led me to uh, meditating upon uh, the names of God um, because, you know, like just like myself, I have different names or nicknames. Uh, just like you, you might have different nicknames. Uh, so God has different, different names. Uh, most of us call him or her or it God. Um, but yeah, I, I call it Krishna. I don't know what you call it or, you know, uh, Vishnu or Shiva or Brahma or there's so many other names, Allah. So yeah, meditating upon God is uh, quite something else actually. You know, I started meditating um, with uh, doing this uh, Vipassana uh, meditation. So just, you know, s sitting silently, um, listening to the sounds around me. And it's very effective, for sure very effective. Uh, and I can, I can just say that because I've experienced that. Um, and this is a th actually just a quick pause. This is the thing about meditation is, uh, uh, you know, you can you can talk about meditation all you want but you know until you try it uh, until you experience it then you can actually you know um, share your your views upon it um, otherwise you know I would highly recommend you to try meditation for about five to ten minutes sit quietly beside a river um, and listen to the sounds of nature just live in reality just enjoy everything You step into nature. This is why people, in general, you know, they feel better when they're in nature. Hello, hello. <laughs> How are you doing, Sam? Very good. Very good. Enjoying the lake. Are you high? Definitely. <laughs> Okay, I think we're back. Um, fortunately, I had a little extra battery. Uh, um, yesterday, uh, you know, uh, my friends and I, we were having this conversation about love. Um, and I really appreciate everyone, per everyone's perspective about love, um, unconditional love especially, because unconditional love is, I, you know, based on these conversations that I've had uh, with some people, it's, uh, it seems um, as though people don't, think that it's actually possible to um, unconditionally love uh, people. Um, I'm not talking about like making sure everyone is loved in this world, but just, you know, uh, essentially we want to tell the world that we can love 
everyone, um, you know, anyone that comes across our path. Now, love is obviously um, something that people perceive as one thing, another thing, having different perspectives. Um, unconditional love is just loving people. Um, it's just, you know, being kind, being compassionate, um, having sympathy, empathy for people. You know, that's, uh, for me, that's a type of love. I actually would love to know <laughs> what do you think um, love is? You know, our point was just to tell them that, you know, we are, uh, we see uh, life as um, a big celebration. And like I mentioned in the, in, maybe I'm gonna put some blocks together and uh, mash this all together. What do you say? <laughs> yeah, we were agreeing. I was agreeing on this. And I do believe that we should always pay respect to um, everyone that we walk, uh, that, that, you know, that we encounter on every day because why not pay respect to our brothers and sisters, right? Um, we're all in this together. It's like one day, we're living one more day. We should be celebrating every moment, every day, you know? Every day should be a celebration. You know, there's so many different perspectives and some people are so unaware of other perspectives and they get caught up in just the one perspective that they have and they don't open, like, the ability to see options. Um, but essentially, yeah, um, uh, life should be celebrated. Uh, you know, we are in this, uh, in this experience, all of us together, uh, and I see everyone as my brother and sister. Um, I get that there are some people who have this uh, really strong bond with uh, certain types of uh, people in their lives, such as your mother, your brother, your father, your dogs, animals. Um, and that might be classified as special. Um, and um, so here's what, where we kind of drew a little bit of a line between my friends and I. You know, they were saying that uh, the same type of love that you have for a mother, uh, you cannot express that upon a stranger. And, um, you know, in this spiritual path, um, you know, it's and I get that it's really hard to to get to a point where you can actually say, I, I want to love everyone equally. And that is kind of like my goal in life to be able to love everyone unconditionally um, as much as I can. Um, of course, I'm not going to get into like situations where, you know, I'm, I'm not going to go and and uh, drown in the ocean trying to love all the fishes and all that stuff <laughs> or like sharks and stuff like that. I'm thinking about our life, I'm thinking about loving, about uh, oh, no, my I friends, can. about meditation, about everything yeah, in our life, to. especially with nature. So. It needs, it needs, yeah, it needs, it, uh. You know, just, just do your best in life. And this is what we were talking about yesterday. Just, just love as much as you can. And uh, again, the definition of love can be different. Um, being compassionate, being having sympathy. I do think that all of these things are components of what love is. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think about what love is to you in the comments down below. <laughs> um, I do feel like a lot of things are um, like written already uh, and we're just playing like this role. Um, so if it's destiny, you know, I, I'm dest I was destined to show you guys this, uh, this video and I'm not even sure if it's still recording. Let me just double check. Uh, it's still recording and the battery is about to die so um great maybe i'll change it back to the other one that was supposed to be dead too and we'll see if this video keeps going uh, we are building the most best techniques in building sector like you know in the civil sector so that we can confront the earthquakes confront confront the cyclone but we are not thinking like, what is the main reason for the earthquake and cyclone? We are going against because we have ego. But at the same time, the universe have a right to show what they are. Because they are like, you know, they are giving us everything. Like, they never complain from us whether you do good things or whether you do bad things. They don't mind. Like, you know, they are continuously giving you air. They're giving you sunlight, they're giving you like, they're offering you everything. A few days back, I was studying, I was practicing the Bible. Mm -hmm. And uh, I came to know, like, God made every living entity and said humans to rule. Just think the word rule, mm -hmm. according to God, what does that mean, the rule? And how we took the word rule. The one thing, he's ruling us. And the one thing we are ruling the animals and the plants and the every like you know the earth. Yeah. 
the first person in my life, my mom. The second one is my husband. Hmm. And then my family, my friends for sure. Hmm. And you want to give a shout out to anyone on the internet? <laughs> Who would you say hi to that you don't have the chance to say hi on a regular basis maybe? To myself, of course. Say hi to your future self, man. Yeah, of course. Yeah. All right. And I'm going to say hi to the sun because it's shining upon us and we are able to see this <laughs> and it's actually so beautiful so thank you sun and good night eventually <laughs> good night <laughs> Putting a spin on my inner emotion Warming my face for this evening's devotion I hope someone else sees you how I see you seeing me